In a few days, it will be Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the Jewish year, when hundreds of thousands of Jews across the Jewish world will be coming together to fast, to pray. People also say Yom Kippur is one of the saddest days of the year, but that's not true. Yom Kippur is actually meant to be a happy day. But you may ask, if it's so happy, why am I fasting? Why am I not wearing leather shoes? Why am I not washing? Surely, if it's a happy day, we'll be eating, drinking, celebrating. But the idea is what the Yom Kippur offers us, a chance for forgiveness. All year, we have not achieved what we could achieve. We've distanced ourselves from God. We've been selfish. We've upset those nearest and dearest to us. Yom Kippur is the one day when God says to us, stop. Look at who you've become and decide to change for the better. Say to yourself, I can become more than I am. And for 25 hours, we commit ourselves to that challenge. And therefore we fast and we pray to concentrate our minds on this incredibly important job at hand. But then, at the end of the 25 hours, when that Takiqa Dollar sounds at the end of the Ila and the fast is over, the feeling one has that you've dedicated the whole day to looking at your life and to saying sorry and to promising to live a better life the following year, the result of that is a sense of happiness, a sense of achievement. Yom Kippur is a unique day, a holy day, but also in essence, a happy day.